Hello everyone, this is Hassan with Handy Bros and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a very interesting project. We are going to add a ceiling light in a bedroom where we don't have anything. Uh, right now I do have a switch here, but this switch only operates the outlet and that's where I currently have a lamp attached. So you can see this switch is only powering my outlet. So what I'm going to do here is I will be using the new switch or a same switch and kind of run a new wire from here along the wall up into the attic and then at the ceiling where I would be putting the new light. And then for the outlet, I will just make the connection direct, you know, so that outlet would be completely energized or would have power all the time. Let's get started. I mean, if you have the option, make sure your circuit breaker is off and there's no power. If there's power, just be, be careful and make sure you have all your safety gear and equipment. So as you can see the wiring here, we have the neutral wire and then we have the hot wire and then this is the wire which is taking the power to the outlet to our right here. So what I'm going to be doing here is I will just simply connect this red wire into here so that my outlet would be powered all the time and this would just by bypass the switch which I don't need it. And then I'm going to use this pigtail from here and the new wire that I'm going to run for the light, the load, will get connected to the switch here and then neutral to the neutral. Next what I would be doing is there's a knockout in the electrical box up here. I will try to open that up. So that's where my new wire would come when I fetch the wire from the attic. Next what we are going to do is we are going to put a small nail from the ceiling so that we know exactly where to drill the hole on the wall plate right just above the electrical box and also we're going to add a nail from the ceiling so that where we want to install the light so that when I go into the attic I know exactly where my points are and where to where to drill. Alright guys I'm in my attic now and this is where the nail for by the by the wall plate you know right here so this is the nail that we poked in and this is the this is the wall wall plate right here so we would be going to drill the hole right here so this is about one inch it's 15 over 16 about one inch of the saw the hole that we are going to do time to use our uh, fishing tape and this is the fishing tape that we'll be using and I go here hopefully this will go all the way down into the knockout uh, it's really helpful if you have someone to kind of be there by that electrical box and tell you and guide you if kind of goes in there so I'm going to call my wife now so as you can see we have the fish tape here I'm gonna hook up the wire and I'm going to pull it pull it from here you know Alright guys, so this is the second pin 
uh, at the center of the ceiling in the room as you can see we have a little wood here that's kind of blocking so as we were like not really particular about the light being like fully 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 center you know so if we just do a hole here so the light would be about two inches off which is okay i mean no one is going to able to notice that the good thing is that we added a piece of cardboard and tape it in so that for two things one the debris doesn't fall down and then secondly once we do the box it kind of gets flush with the with the ceiling you know and as you can see our cardboard thing really worked uh, i just used a scrap cardboard to kind of cover that hole for protect debris from falling down and it will help me keep the box flush Already, so we have our box installed now. Now it's time to go down and finish the rest of the work. Then you're going to install the uh, conduit knockout just so that since this is metal I don't want it to kind of rub in future or kind of damage the wire. So usually this is installed from outside you know I mean I don't have space that I can just push that in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove those two tabs when I push it from the from the bottom just for the protection. Even if I don't do it it's not a big deal but just to be safe. This is the trimmer switch that we are going to install here. This type of trimmer switch can be used for single pole or the three way switch. Since this is just one way or single pole, you're going to cap off the two way connection. The black goes with the low, a heart, the red with the load, and the green with the ground. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was really helpful to you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so for more exciting upcoming content. And I'm gonna leave a few video links here that are related to like adding an outlet or some outdoor light fixture, things like that. So do check out those videos and make sure you provide your feedback and comments and give us a thumbs up and thank you so much again for watching. Until next time. See you soon.